Uh, good afternoon team. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, Kawasaki Ultra hull with a Tohatsu 52 stroke mounted to the back. Uh, just a little bit around the uh, steering and controls. So there's quite a few key elements to this, uh, this little bad boy now. So pretty much it's uh, running a DC motor onto a uh, 10 to 1 reduction gearbox uh, which drives a 20mm stainless thread basically which is attached to a shaft out the back here which is all sealed off and comes through the, the hull itself uh, onto this uh, lifting leg and then you've obviously got the, uh, the grooved out uh, nylon block which runs on the motor. So for operation of this uh, there's some switches up on the controls here on the dash so you put it into the lowering position, press the lowering button, press the button now you can see it coming down, there's your jack shaft coming down. Now at the same time, if you actually have a look, there's a blue indicator on the dash going through. So that's actually a tube and a tube to, say, to show me my position. So I'll stop that for a second. If you have a look down here, stainless rod comes off and that uh, little quarter inch stainless rod is machined with a barb and there's a six mil air line runs inside another line and then that's my mechanical display for uh, showing the position. Set of contactors in there. Um, Driven them, um, auxiliary driven them, so that um, I'm not putting too much power through the uh, the main lines heading up to the little switch. And as we come close to the front, you see we've got limit switch there, got one at the front and one at the back. Right, so she stopped in that position. So now she's driven right down into the home position, so you can see where you're at with that uh, indicator. Made a little uh, foil for the back of it to help it out, it's all in the prototype stage. Bit of a chop and a hack in the rear here to get these uh, steering arms through. So basically it runs a pull-pull system um, down through these uh, pivot pulleys. So as you lift and lower the motor, and it's, they're attached to each side of the motor, that's critical part, because if you don't have that on the axis, the, uh, the steering uh, tightens and loosens on you uh, as you're lifting. The steering itself, so basically the two, I've modified the front, you've got the two rods, so that's your, uh, that's your control. A uh, bit of a spring on the other side there, so that takes up any potential play, but it's, uh, she's nice and tight across there. The next thing is using the factory four reverse lever, uh, and I've just coupled that up and made up, uh, machined up a nylon um, unit with a uh, groove in it, and I'm running a cable system, so basically that's for forward, back to neutral, back to reverse, and that just goes back internally onto the motor. So yeah, she's... Uh, Still under uh, construction, but yeah, this is uh, just a, a short overview for you team that are uh, interested in this kind of thing. Thanks for watching.